All right, let's multiply these guys. We have two numbers. We have 1,000 times 1.02. We're going to be multiplying. And uh, when we multiply, obviously, the number of the answer will get bigger. So 1, 0, 0, 0, the three zeros there, times 1.02. Now, where does that decimal point move if we multiply by 1,000? Well, there's a rule of thumb. It's over here. When we multiply, the decimal place moves to the right, obviously because the number gets bigger, so it moves to the right. But how far to the right does it move? Well, it's determined by the number of zeros. The number of zeros determine the number of decimal places we move to the right. So let's have a look here. How many zeros do we have in 1,000? Well, we have three zeros. So if we have three zeros, that means the decimal place will move, because we're multiplying, it'll move It'll move three places to the right. So three zeros, three places to the right. That's pretty easy, isn't it? So let's go ahead and do that. So we take this 1.02, and we're going to move to the right two decimal places. So let's move to the right now. So we start here with the existing decimal point is, and we move to the right two places. So let's go one, two, in fact, what more? I'm in three decimal places. That's three. Goes right over there. So now we have an arch there with emptiness. There's nothing there. So we can replace that with a zero. So if you ever see an empty arch, you just put a zero there. So now we drag and drop this over here. So this becomes one, zero, two, O. Oh. And on the extreme right, right over here, the decimal place goes right there on the right. There's no decimal place there. So the answer is 1,020. Now, oftentimes when you see that decimal place there, it doesn't mean anything. I like to rub it out like that. doesn't matter if you leave it there. It's still correct. So again, 1,000 times 1.02 is 1,020. I hope that helps.